In this clip, we are going to use the JavaScript functions in order to retrieve all items from the invoices are created in the current month. Let's create a new scenario and the name would be JavaScript. After that, we can create a new scenario steps and uh, again, the name would be get items. Then the designer is opening right now and we are able to start and place there the inbound outbound channel for the HTTP call where the waiting time would be zero and the authentication would be set to no authentication. After that, we are adding there a new transformation atom where the name would be set to main transformation XSL. And now we are able to add some new parameters and the parameter identifier would be for, for example function and the value connect sl means connect to service layer and the same value would be assigned to the to the identifier for that specific transformation let's finalize the flow and after that we can just do the pretty print save the scenario and open the source file. At the beginning, we would define there a new variable. This variable containing the Java function to retrieve the first uh, and the last day for the current month. Because after that, we are going to have a transformation just to define the filter for the service layer call. Let's create a new deployment. You can place there any name here, but we are going to use here the get items. And once it is done, then we can just simply select the newly created step. And we can activate also the detailed login and activate the, full, uh, the, the current deployment. We can use the URL button to get the existing URL to retrieve the data of what we have prepared. As you can see, there is a date and the filter. Let's continue. First of all, we will add there a new adapter call where we are going to approach the um, service layer by using the sub business one service layer call. Let's select the system ID and let's select the method which would be get and after that, we are looking for invoices. In this case, we will need to type invoices and selecting from the list. And the condition, this is the X path, which will come from the transformation before. Pretty print save. We are still having some kind of errors and we will need to change the name of that specific identifier because we done we have it duplicated okay let's save and as soon as the deployment would be re-executed as soon as it will be redeployed then we would be able to execute the scenario directly from the web browser and see the current results yeah, we have here some kind of information from the service layer. Now we are adding a new transformation, but now we would refer back to the same XSL. We will add there a new parameter function, but now we are going to uh, going to use the retrieve items function. Let's open the source and in the source we will add there a new code which will deal with the items. We can redeploy again and then we would see how the results would be changed. Now we are going to have all items for, for the uh, invoices coming from the current month. Let's add there a new transformation. We are selecting the same XSL transformation. And of course, we will need to have the function with the different uh, naming conversion. Now we are going to group the items. And also it is a time just to create a new source file. 
let's have a name my script js and this would be a new javascript file which would be consumed directly uh, from the bstore in the first transformation we have used the javascript directly from the variable but now we are going to uh, consume the javascript directly from the bstore let's edit the source and we will add, add there a new variable for our script just to load it and after that we might have a new condition for grouping the items but this specific uh, uh, function requiring some additional template uh, what we can also place directly to the uh, to this xsl file okay let's save it let's do the deployment again and once it is done then we can just simply go and check the results and now we have all unique items with the quantities how it had been sold during the current month and basically that's it what we want to achieve the first function is retrieving the dates and the filtering options for the service layer call the second function is retrieving all the items from the uh, invoices lines and also the quantities and the third function is designed just to group the items and also accumulate the quantities.